Yeah, and it's, it's amazing when you look at social media and you you see how people view games and you know, you just watch the game and you're right about those preconceived ideas because if you've got preconceived ideas about a player, listen, I hold my hand up, I've done it myself. If you don't think much of somebody, you will look at them in a negative light mm. rather than just, like you've just said, you don't have to look at them in a positive light, you just look at them in how the game is played. And if you've got a narrative to follow as well, um, I remember, funny enough, I remember um, Charlie Brooker doing a top 10 or, or top top um, 50 countdown or something of uh, on TV. You know, Charlie Brooker, if you don't know who Charlie Brooker is, he, he, well, he, he wrote Black Mirror for a start, so he's got a pretty good take on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, but he used to be, he, he's like a satirical, satirist, um comedian. Satirical. That's what I just yeah. said. That's what I just said. There's an echo in here. Yeah. Um, it sounded like you said clitoris. No, I definitely <laughs> didn't say clitoris. Um, and he's very good at just cutting right through things. So he mm. did. And he, but he used to be a gaming. He used to be a gaming um, reviewer. A gamer. Gaming. Oh, gaming. What are you saying? I here? said game. Gaming. Gaming. I definitely said gaming. Gaming. It's on camera. Gaming. Gaming reviewer, like, right? So he, he sort of merges both of these two things at okay. times, and he did this list of like the top fifty like computer games of all time, yeah, co and consoles and things. And his number one was Twitter, because he said it's just a, it's a game. It is a game. Right, he said okay. it's a game. He said you play it. He said you go on there and you put an avatar of yourself on there. He said it's not that's not you. Mm. You wouldn't call someone a fucking knobhead, would you? No, no. You wouldn't say so and so's a fucking knobhead or you're a fucking knobhead because you're to your opinion. Because your opinion, you wouldn't say that face to face. No, well, it depends. So he said, you get on there, and you're an avatar. You're an, you whatever you are, you build up. Mm. And he said, you get like rewarded by retweets and favorites and all these kind of things. Oh, and okay. then your 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 followers go like you know like your Sonic the Hedgehog rings like beep 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 bing. Oh, you know, okay. and yeah, yeah. He said it's just all a big game, and I think we all fall into the trap of that. We get into a narrative. And we can't get off that narrative. So, like you just said, Tom Davis is the probably the best example of it at the moment. People yesterday were telling me he was shite. Like, like, and I was like, oh no, he he, he had a he had an all right game. I thought he was decent. Whenever, whenever I played, well, there you go. I mean, there's there's the, there's the extreme, mm -hmm. right? I thought he did. I thought I, I thought it was hilarious that he was a captain. And he was wearing pink boots. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world because I just thought how many people are just gonna be so pissed off at that. Which and that's another thing. That's a thing straight away. It's like he's captain, fucking knobhead. He's got pink boots on, fucking knobhead. It's already like building the fucking tension up on these people. Look at him wearing pink boots. How dare he? And all, you know all these little things, and it just builds up and it just creates this. It creates this a picture that takes you away from what's actually happening on the football pitch, mm. you know. And it can be, it's there's like no point in it. There's no point in it, is there? No. Because what you're doing there is you're taking a kid, and that's what it is—a kid. And you're trying to you're breaking them down. You're trying to break break that kid down. For what end? So you can prove you're right about him. Do you know what, right, in the summer, sat here, and I said, oh shit, Michael Keane, he's sat here, it's terrible. Someone told me yesterday, in our average yes, he's player ratings, player. I've given the highest player ratings, in our averages, if you average up, and I think he's had an excellent start to the season, he's been great, and, he's, and I'm delighted to be wrong, delighted to be wrong, I really am. And I hope he continues, I hope he gets better, and I want to continue to be proven wrong. Mm. Yeah. What, what I said about him. Mm. My, 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 um, what I thought of, of where he was going, because of course what I'd seen, is so far been proved wrong. And I hope that mm. continues. And there's not enough of that in social media. Because people just want to be right all the time, rather than show a bit of humility and just go, you know what I got that I got it wrong with Harry Kane. 
I don't really get, get it wrong very often, but uh, there. Do A bit of humility. <laughs> bit of humility there. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm winding it up. But Harry Kane, I didn't think would. Uh, when has she even come through? Right, not, so she's got not no. With, not got, with that tongue. She's got, yeah, she's got no pace. She can't do this. She can't beat a man. He can, brilliant. Brilliant because he's just got better and better and better at what he does. And you'd have to go, you know what? Got him well wrong. People don't want to say that. So they would rather almost look like a dickhead for continuing to say he was crap when he wasn't for the odd game that he is crap to go told that he was crap they love it 